And on this installment of Ohio Valley Wrestling, tonight's main event will be one half of the Fighting Spirit, Christopher Silvio, against one half of the elite, Ted McNaylor. Should be entertaining, Dean, and this should be entertaining as well. Ali has filed a formal grievance and demanding time on the mic tonight about his trim, we'll say, from last week. And of course, the leader of the dunk pound, Jamin Olivencia, will be in single action right now to kick things off. I'm Dean Hill alongside Fox 41's newest news anchor, Gilbert Corsi, and the living legend as he demands I call him Kenny the Starmaker Bowler. Let's go to Ron Head in the ring. The following match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Seattle, Washington, weighing in tonight at 198 pounds, Shiloh Jones. And obviously what's been going on in the back uh, in the locker room in regards to Shiloh Jones is how upset he uses the word that starts with the letter P about how upset he is about the, the losing streak that he's been on lately here at Gilbert. He, tonight will be a different Shiloh Jones. Well, changing his fate against the likes of this man may certainly be hard. Mark, we're all getting ready for Saturday Night Special. Ted Knight, right here in Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherds for Road, and to make the other heavy introductions back to the voice of OVW. That's what I said at first, Mr. Ron here. His opponent from Buffalo, New York, winging tonight at 210 pounds, Jamin Olivencia. Actually, Ron gave me 10 bucks to say that, but uh, that's okay. Of course, we know what's going on here on Saturday Night Special. Jamin will be in the corner as the Rudy Switchblade and Ali Va Muhammad Ali Baez meet at Saturday Night Special. And the uh, the hair of Baez will be on the line as Switchblade brings in the OVW television title, the uh, $2,500 as well as that uh, that wristwatch, that what, $11,000? $11,000 Rolex watch. Rolex. What's left of that $2,500? It's all on the line later tonight. The stakes are very, very high. And did you see that smack? These sma Shiloh Jones smacked Jamin Olivencia right in his face. A new attitude, a bit more of an edge are we seeing? Well, yeah, we told you he was PO'd about the... The course that uh, the last few matches have taken here for Shiloh, and he I'll, came back I'll, to us saying he was going to have a whole new career, and it has not started and off I right. And I take credit for that because I approached him in the back. I saw him uh, back there all upset and everything. I put my arm around him. I said, son, there's no shame in the people you've lost to. You've lost to Mondo. You've lost to Cliff Compton. You've had some tough losses with some good competition. It's like in the Big East when you lose to Georgetown, Syracuse, and Louisville all in a row. No shame in that. It's going to happen. But I told him to be a little bit more aggressive and, and maybe. We got to cover, we got to cover too. Coming out the And aggressive. maybe intimidate your opponent a little bit, just like you're intimidated when you sit out here with me, Delbert. <laughs> maybe you'll get their attention and maybe things will start going your way. And I think he's took my advice and he's off and running. And if you'd like to say anything, probably should just shut up. And Are just you let me done blowing hot air? Will you be quiet, guys? Remember, this, this is actually. Well, you all took the first 15 minutes of the show. It was the best 15 minutes. Certainly it was. All right, but this is Jamin's first singles match since he's returned here to OVW. And don't forget, Ali actually ended uh, Jamin's last TV title reign with the, the concussion we, that we thought actually might put Jamin Olivencia out of professional wrestling. And to answer your question, Kenny, uh, never quits blowing hot air. Right now, Jamin Olivencia, oh, ducks under the clothesline and plants Shiloh Jones. Up and down and showing his power here. Again, I do not think that Shiloh Jones is going to be able to change his fate against the a very aggressive, Whoa. the animalistic, if you will, Speaking of aggression. Jamin Olivencia. All of this, oh man, that forward somersault delivering that lower back across the face of Shiloh Joe. Cover does not hook the leg, however, he thinks he has Shiloh at the spot, but he did not have him there. Not enough to get that three count, Gilbert. And the big question for tonight is will Jamin actually have Rudy Switch Rudy Switchblade's back? I mean, he had it last week during the six-man tag match, preventing Mr. B from getting involved and, and helping Ali uh, steal a victory. So he actually helped Rudy Switchblade. Cut Ali's hair. Kenny, Kenny, don't don't get mad. I know that you're, you know, he's sitting there going, 
Can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk? Oh, okay, Kenny, you talk. two are doing a fine job. Don't worry about me over here. No, please, please, Kenny, feel free to elaborate. Up and down with a big time DDT. I think that's going to be it, boys. Your winner, Jamin Olivencia. Obviously, he didn't listen to everything I told him or he'd have won this match. Oh. Focus. Enraged, aggressive, and he is bringing all that plus all the goods to the Saturday Night Special here later tonight.